Arr. Next person on the list is Gregory Queen. Arr. You and the hat back there, quiet, her. Yeah. I'll take care of you later. Don't just want to be. Yeah. We're going to talk to your college. Alright, this first poem is a, a philosophical question. It's called Thinking About It. Freedom, a lack of chains. Is freedom the lack of boundaries? Or is it in boundaries? Do you have 1,000 things to do today? <laughs> Eight, nine, ten hours a day working for the man. Do this, don't do that, do the other thing. Is every hour, every day consumed by keeping what you have and getting more? Is freedom not having to do anything? Or having to have anything in particular? Is it the right to choose and do we have a choice? Does freedom move like an idea in the mind's eye? Is it speaking in your heart's core? And just how free are we to speak out against poverty, social injustice, war, and more? Yes, financial independence, the American freedom dream, to take as much as you can take from those less powerful. Maybe it's working together in anarchy's unrealized freedom. Is freedom the lack of laws, the letter of the law, the spirit of the law? Are you bound tight? Are you a slave to the system, only to make the rich man richer? Is freedom nothing left to lose, letting it all go, or maybe just some people talking? Are your bindings growing tighter? Are any of us really free? Freedom the strange ideal. Think about it, and maybe I'll give this thing called freedom a rest. Yeah. This next poem is a poem about the decline of the cities. It's called Disgrace. I hear the street, I see the fear, a weather-beaten and hard-edged face. There is no lace, only disgrace. I stand, I shed a tear, looking around, I breathe deep, I can only sigh. No golden heather, heather nor fields green, only rage and anger and poverty seen. Face and hands, he sits and cries. A sickening sadness, can we make a stand? What happened to the gold? Hopeless desperation continues to unfold, grinding against the machine in this land. Rustling, wasting, full of woe, falling millstones, these maledictions and curses. Politicians talk and unscrupulous lies they rehearse. A deafening downward spiral continues to flow. From the street, a mirroring pain, falling false paragons, smashing distasteful planes. All the oppression, there is no shame. A crumbling zenith and obscene and dripping nasty stain. Tell me, please tell me, where is the lace? Please help me, we can solve this disgrace. This next poem is uh, a back to nature poem type thing uh, called More Than a Meadow. Meadow. I feel your breeze roll across your field eternal. I can see friendly clouds strolling by, waving, and speaking of harmony's silent wisdom. With the seasons, you would seem to change, but looking closely, you are the same. On days of mist, a great vaporous shroud appears, and your fog dances on, you are a surreal dream. The fox, the deer, the coyote call your golden heather home, and on a warm spring day, the bees do delight in the nectar of blossoming flowers, sweet, sugary, pat palatable treats. Your warm sunny days let the spirit expand the mind and inspire the heart. The animals of the field look well on the fat of your land. In the fall, big male deer, the stud bucks, rut joust for the rights to the finest of your females. In the spring, you bless us with a vast menagerie, a colorful kaleidoscope of blooming flowers, an eye-popping vista dominating the horizon, an unending panorama, a flowing sea, an expansive feast of sightseeing beings. Your red, green, purple, and golden flowers mesmerize in nature's flowing rhythms. A captivating light filled event happening, speaking words of beauty's freedom. This is a treasure surely created by the supreme, and the meadow said, I bring paintings, the well-dreamt masterpieces of the unseen. Many creatures have lived here in the past. Now they appear to be gone, yet they are not gone. They have not left. There is no place to go. They are still here. If you listen, you can hear them. Their voices can be heard. In bubbling, winding spring-fed brooks, in the crackle of falling golden leaves, 
The rising warmth of a sweet summer's breeze, like a bedazzled river called jasmine. The affinities roll all about me. In me, I feel fine. You see, nothing ever leaves me. I am the meadow. I was the meadow as Mother Earth first hired. I sprang up to become mountains with high, jagged, windswept sweat peaks. In a moment, relaxing, rolling hills so green, and as the eye blinks, an ancient shimmering sea, and as nature's chameleon waved her hand, a magnificent forest of pine I became so fine. In the waking green, a meadow once again, and it's all just the same. As all the days, full of days, so many days, so many years, and eternity counts no days, no years. The transcendent mirrors of time standing still. I am here, it is all here today. My play is birth, life, and death. As I die, I am born, I live. Come walk with me, come talk with me, come and behold me. When I hold you, you hold me. I am more than a medal. They fly about lost villages, sift through flower sacks, and through the hollow, carmines die as the student of shadows follows them alone, though not without trouble, across the dunes, deserted streets, apartments, empty at an ancient ritual, so later he will know the word for nothing, to comfort the witnesses who prove how slight their bodies are how they hover within the canvas frame, beautiful and sad, and grains of sand that sheen as hourglass, how the wings of their coats rustle overhead as the sand and glass are around beneath our feet. Along our trail toward home, that doesn't change without them sensing a rapture or anchor, the freedom our faces feel, features never given to simple sobbing, as if tears had some lesson to teach. And my other piece I'm going to do is called Simple Gift on the Hill. To you I give a tremor and the spinal cord it afflicts, a peeled off comb and white fibers, slogans about the tendons and growing talk. You forget nothing, will lose nothing. You must store it all up, a task you did not choose. May the tremor, then, gain force until the brain gets dizzy and the eyes, the eyes a blur of light. There is no such thing as perfection. How could there be when the bay before me wheezes under the weight of a tanker spill? Crude oil and feathers, the sadness of mothers, saying goodbye to their grown-up sons, bound for every corner of the empire. Sons who, like you and me, have not allowed the blood in their veins to thicken under seductions of routine. How could perfection not cause pain when I am forced day in, day out, like a homestead, about to collapse, to ask myself what awaits and where I'm going when pebbles whirl in dry riverbeds? when conquered cities fall, when the century now behind us smolders and the body hesitates. May the last temple, fortress, turret not disappear. May silence be older than a seal of wax. In this silence, I who nurse the hope, I ask you, take this gift that nothing will be in vain. <laughs> 